Thank you, Mike. Keith Kaiser is playing with dolls this morning. Yeah, he's with the folks from the Louisville Min Miniature Club taking a look at a new exhibit. Keith, is everything small out there? It is very, very small. We're going to see some of those uh, kind of the intimate details of these uh, room boxes. I'm finding out not a lot of dolls involved because they, they didn't want to put the human aspect into it because you imagine yourself in the room. Look at that. Like it's already exactly. learned this morning. We've got Nancy Johnson here. We've got Kelly Hannah Carroll here. And we got Kim Baldwin here. These are all in the Louisville Miniature Club. And Nancy, this, um, what kind of a passion is this? How did it start? It's crazy. It's mm -hmm. absolutely crazy. You are, I mean, when I tell people what I spend for some of these things, they look at me like <laughs> I have lost my You're mind. out of your mind. Yes, well, yes. We'll, we'll get into some of the details about how much this, uh, some of these things cost. But right here, we're looking at some of your stuff here. What is your inspiration with some of these room boxes? The one on the end is my grandchildren's box, kind of. I have four grandchildren, two boys and two girls. And so we kind of just put things together, you know, and they have one of the birth samplers in there and some things. And then moving on down, the little milk can sort of is... Um, Greg Claypool's little workshop, he <laughs> carves ducks, and the next one is a bakery. So if you really are on a diet, you could go for many stuff. And, and you just look at that and you, you, you won't want to eat. Uh, it actually makes you hungry just looking in there, but we'll get into the details of those. And then Kelly, Hannah Carroll here, and then some of your stuff. What, what is the inspiration with your stuff? Well, it's 112th scale. It's much more affordable than doing it in real scale. It's a garden that never needs weeding. It's a house that never needs cleaning. I don't have to wait on contractors. I can do it myself. <laughs> and then really we're going to get into some of that where the how she does some of the intimate work inside one of the room boxes here and then Kim what what is your inspiration with the miniatures how did you get started creating miniatures like this um, well my grandmother always had shadow boxes full of little glass animals and that was just fascinating to me as a mm -hmm. kid and so when I finally got into college and had the ability to pick out my own things well I really got into doing the doll houses and doing the furniture and doing everything else and my mother-in-law especially has really kind of fed into that which drives my husband nuts <laughs> and that, I bet you it's a stress reliever for a lot of these guys but they're going to be on display February 6th through the 21st I believe is the uh, the appropriate dates here at the historic Locust Grove and we're going to get into some of the the uh, the details of these things and how they all come together a little bit later on they're very very small Candace and Sterling we, we need to talk in those high voices since we're talking about small stuff I like the attention to detail. Oh, yeah. Very neat. It is impressive. A workshop being held at Locust Grove will teach people how to create miniature dollhouses. Keith Kaiser is with the Louisville Miniature Club to learn more about it. Keith? There's so many little things to see here. I got Nancy Johnson here. And, and Nancy, the, you had a hand in restoring the historic Locust Grove dollhouse. Well, what's a this? It was built in 1979 by the owners of Woodford Landing Antiques, and uh, it was a, a, a raffle with the Louisville Preservation Alliance. It was raffled off. A lady had has had it uh, the whole time until Locust Grove purchased it about two years ago. And we came in and really did not do a whole lot to it, just kind of dusted it off, got it ready. And this is the 1960s uh, renovation of Locust Grove. It, this is Locust Grove has now been re-renovated, so this is what it originally looked like. And this is the inspiration for the Louisville Miniature Club's uh, display of uh, miniature room boxes here at Historic Locust Grove. We're going to show you some of those and how they do it coming up on WDRB in the morning. Mike, thank you. Keith Kaiser is learning about the Louisville Miniature Club. Yeah, it's a new exhibit right now. It's opening at the Historic Locust Grove location. And Keith joins us now. Good morning, sir. And you don't have to be miniature to be a part of the club. You can be, you know, full size, uh, which, Nancy, you're full size. Yes. <laughs> well, I, was, I wouldn't say full size. See, that was, that was, that was <laughs> rude. That was kind of rude. Plus, huh? Yeah, that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was. That was rude. All right. But, Nancy, the, uh, the club and what you guys do, how long have you been doing it? I've been in the club for four years, but the club's been around since 1981. So we, we have kind of survived the ebbs, you know, and flows, and, mm -hmm. and we're still hanging around, and we would love to have more members if you're interested. And how many displays uh, from February 6th through the 21st are you going to have out here? Probably around 40. 40 have, displays. Mm -hmm. And right now this morning, just a little sample of what these guys do. And then this room right here is kind of special to you because you, when you build miniature uh, room boxes, you kind of, you, 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 there's something behind it. There's right, there's an idea. Mm -hmm. um, I have four grandchildren and that was my inspiration for that. Two boys and two girls. Mm -hmm. 
And um, yeah, it has all kinds of little things, little toys, and the, the, the girl the side little, and the boy side. The little intricacies of like the little books and the and the little pictures on the walls and and the and the wallpaper. You've got to custom make that too because you, you can't find little miniature wallpaper. Oh, you can. You can. Yes. This stuff is out there. Yes, mm -hmm. it's out there. You just got to look for it. And then moving on to like this container here, now, the, the box itself is kind of uh, uh, art in itself. Correct. Yep. And all kind of milk jug. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's little duck decoys in there. It's a little carving, a little workbench with little, and you see there's little shavings on the floor. Oh, this, this the details of this. And, and the food, good enough to eat. Of course, they're very low calorie because they're very, very small. I have a sweet tooth. So that's <laughs> kind of where I got that inspiration. And that's all kinds of goodies. And they are calorie free, as Kelly reminded me. <laughs> and then Kelly is over there working on uh, the kind of a, a greenhouse kind of uh, a flower shop there. And, and just the little details that go into that is, are amazing. Yes, you have to use little tools. <laughs> Tiny little tools. And she was saying, and you need readers too. Re the little, little glasses. <laughs> cheaters, yeah. Cheaters to see all the little detail in right. some of this. But you don't have to have your cheaters to see this exhibit happening February 6th through the 21st. And you can be a part of it all here, here at Historic Locust Grove uh, and enjoy the, the art behind this. $3 gets you in and sees uh, this exhibit and other things here at Historic Locust Grove. $8 gets you the house and everything else too. So you can go to WDRB.com, click on the button, and you can learn more that way and when you do come in here you don't have to speak in a miniature voice you can speak in your full-size grown-up voice okay Candace and Sterling all right Let's all right everyone speak like this the rest of the show okay it's pretty entertaining okay? though it's it is song. the very big man with the little boys at the miniature yeah. the miniature show and it's very neat to see. I like the attention to detail. Oh, you know, so the, yeah, right. The workroom to the cakes. And it takes forever and it takes a lot of patience to put yes, all those tiny little things together. <laughs> a huge new exhibit is opening up and it's full of miniature items. Keith Kaiser is checking out this exhibit at Locust Grove this morning. Keith? Hey, I'm sitting inside of a miniature greenhouse right now. The trick photography we're using right here. Neil and Neil came up with this. And so we're, uh, I'm going to give you a little perspective. I'm going to get a little closer to uh, one of these miniatures, which could take about 10 hours to do, like this particular one, or, you know, years and years of practice. Get inside here and grab one of these. Just right there. Look at that. How small these things are right here. And you can see it all here at uh, Historic Locust Grove and see how they uh, put some of this together and the creativity behind it. We're going to show you more coming up on WDRB in the morning. So small.